Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francine and you can call me Queen Francine. Like I promised you guys last time, I talked about how I increased my um, LSAT score from 146 to 171. And um, at first I used, um, I think six different books. And out of uh, those books, when I first took my first Elsa that I scored a 146, only two books out of six was useful. Uh, what I mean by being useful is that it really helped me get to that 146 and the rest was not, didn't help me. I wouldn't say useless, but it didn't help me at all. And um, the other thing is when I retook the Elsa, I took a course and um, I found out about two extra books, which I'm actually, I would say, three i had two and then three more that was five but those three books are like a set and you can actually buy them as a whole like together but all together is like four very very useful books and this video i'll definitely be sharing those books with you guys because a lot of people actually if you go on amazon you go on uh, different websites right now they have like a thousand a thousand else that books to use but out of those books honestly you gotta be smart about it because you you don't want to end up spending a lot of money and those books are not really helpful so you definitely want to buy something that will be helpful to the LSAT because it's LSAT itself is expensive LSAT itself is long it's annoying it's crazy so you want to be comfortable with what you're doing and you don't want to make your study too stressful. So basically, you want to do it step by step and understand everything. So a book that will actually teach you everything from the beginning to the end and help you understand is the best book ever. Especially if you don't want to take a course or if you don't want to take the, a tutor and everything, you don't want to have one. You want to actually self-study and self-learn. Like people who are actually self-driven, like the self-driven students, this is these are actually the right books for you, the right books for you. So I'll be doing my makeup as I'm actually sharing these books. And um, don't mind me if I'm sweating. I sweat a lot. I'm very hot. My fan is on, but I'm always sweating. So yeah, um, like my previous video, if you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and watch it and subscribe to my channel because I'll be talking about a lot of my law school experience and a lot of things that would help. So I'm talking about the books today. Another day I'll talk about the um, the your resume with law school, your uh, statements, your applications and everything else and uh, working and because a lot of people say you can't work in law school, you can't do this and that. I worked while I was in law school. Yes, it's not allowed to, like the one of the laws and everything is, some states don't allow you to work, but I found a way through. I worked. And now there's a big surprise, a big surprise about law school that just, they just announced this. It's a new thing about law school and I cannot wait. I'm having an interview with one of the best, best, best guys who actually, um, you know, helps people with the LSAT course. And I'm going to post that interview. It's a big surprise for you guys, for those working um, mothers or working students or those who don't have time to actually go to law school. I mean, to actually be in class physically. That's a big surprise for you guys, like a big, big surprise. So stay tuned for more videos. Yeah, definitely have to stay tuned for that. Anyways, so in the beginning, when I first studied for my law, um, for my um, LSAT, it was a little bit tricky because I was trying to figure out what books I wanted to buy because these books are expensive. Yes, maybe $50, $100 is not a lot for you. But for me, I was like, look, I'm not working right now. Okay, I, was I just graduated from undergrad. Um, I'm not really working. I need me a good book that I don't want to just spend money. But I ended up spending actually $300 in total to get just you know, to get different books. I mean, those were like used books. Imagine how uh, how much um, brand new books would cost, you know what I'm saying? So that was ridiculous. That was very expensive. So after I went and took my exam, like I said, I actually found out that only two books out of those six books was useful, very useful to me. And those two books that I actually got was a 2017 to 2018 uh, edition. 
And right now, if you want to take the LSAT in 2020 or 2021, they actually have a 2020 to 2021 edition with the same book. And that book is called the LSAT Trainer. I have a picture up there about the LSAT Trainer. So that book is by Mike Kim. And it's actually a self um, study guide for those who are like self driven. What I mean by that is, you know, you actually have time to take off some time, like go to the library, study, teach yourself some stuff. You can actually read it. And, you know, you really, really focus with this, you know, Elsa and taking it serious. So, this is a very, very good book. And thank you, Mike, because that book really helped me out my first, on my first um, attempt. And the second book that really helped me out was a set of three books, um, which is the um, the Bible, the Power Score Bible. So the Power Score Bible, they actually have um, three. They have three um, different books with when you buy them as a set. By the way, the trainer, the by Mike Kim, the trainer, the Elsa trainer. It only cost me $33. So it's a great book and it helped out for only $33 on Amazon. And it was a brand new book, actually. That one I bought it brand new. And the other thing, the other book that I got, which I said, the, um, the Power Score. The Power Score had three books, which one was the Reading Comprehension, the, which is very important because you have, you know, you definitely want to learn and read about the, you know, figure out how to respond to the, with questions and how to tackle every section with the reading comprehension books and everything that way it's easier for you to actually answer these questions when you once you get to the LSAT part when you have to take the exam and the second one was actually the logic um games bible it's called bible um apparently it's a bible yeah the logic game bible it was really really good i really liked it and then mind you these three books are like massive like they're big they are huge so it actually trains you to learn how to read bigger books because in law school like you're gonna be reading a lot like have bulky books so that actually you know was very helpful so those two were helpful out of the six that i got like those two sets of books which made it five because the um the um, power score has three books which is the reading comprehension the logic games and the logical reason part the logical reasoning part was my favorite part because if i tell you like 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 that part was hard and i had to like go through the whole thing like learn the whole thing and try to figure out everything because sometimes when you th what you think is right what you think is common sense is actually not common sense what you think is the answer is actually not like they just trick you like that so that really helped me like learn how to do things i had a hard time like i said in my previous my other video is that i had a hard time with the um logic games the games oh my god the games whoo the games gave me a hard time but with these books i was able to like you know figure a few things out and learn how to do some things and thanks to the course that i took when they actually used the same books the same um the score power book and the uh, power score and the Elsa trainer book in class. So which was very, very helpful. And I really appreciate that. And that instructor was like one of the best instructors ever, like ever. The other book. So I took the Elsa. I got a 156 and no, a 146. I'm sorry. 146. And after that, when I took the course, I got rid of my other books because those two set of groups books was very important to me it helped me out so i ended up adding one book that i found out about in the course i found out about this book in the course and that book is actually the lsat unlocked 2020 to 2021 then i used the 2017 to 2018 edition so this lsat unlock 2020 2021 if you want to take your lsat this year or next year i definitely recommend you to actually take that it's a good book like it actually teaches you how to you know the comprehensive prep and uh, with like real test questions like real prep questions when i say real 
I mean real, okay? Real prep questions. That book was very, 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 very helpful, very helpful. And I love that book. And that book was about $50, $57? Yeah, I got it for 50, on Amazon again. I'm always on Amazon. I love to buy my stuff on Amazon. I love to shop on Amazon. Amazon loves me too, maybe. But yeah, so that book was $58, $57 actually, so $58 plus. Shipping is free. I had Prime, yeah. So definitely. Oh, with the Logic, the Power Score book that comes in three. Since it's three, it's a lot of books. Usually, if you check online, those books are like in the 200s or like the 190s or the 300s sometimes. Depends on what website. But with those books, I actually got it for $150. $150 on Amazon. And you can actually get the used ones if you don't have the if they if they have the used one up there. If you don't want to like spend a lot of money on them, you can get the used ones. You can get the brand new ones if you want to keep them and resell them. The good things about these books is that you can actually resell these books regardless of what year the editions are. Because sometimes I had the 2017 to 2018 edition, but a lot of the questions came from 2016 and 2017. So it's good to actually use these books as well. And I had some books from one of my colleagues one of my friends gave me a book from 2016 and i read a little bit about that book and um with the logical thinking part that a lot of the questions in the 2016 book actually came on the exam that was an exam in 2017 so yes it it does really help don't mind my face i'm just doing quick quick something quick i usually overdo my face sometimes i beat my face real good but i'm just trying to do something quick and stuff you know something small 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 but yes so again don't spend money don't just buy everything because people would lie and because you know it's a marketing thing and i lie maybe it worked for them but from what i've heard like different um comments and different suggestions this has these these three books have actually been part of uh the top three which makes it five because of Power Score has five books altogether. So try your best to do your research. And if you have any suggestions of what books really helped you, don't forget to comment below. Like just comment and tell us. Because you know, we out here we're trying to learn. We're all learning. So we're helping each other. Yes. So those books were very helpful. Another thing I wanted to talk about was is actually the um, amount of time you take to study for law the elsa basically oh my god look at that i deleted my eyebrow i'll fix it yeah the amount of time you and i actually told you guys that i did four months at the second second time first time was two yeah i gotta fix that because i messed it up first time was two um second time was four so the fourth time was good but i would definitely recommend you guys to take a lot of time to study because the more you study, the more practice you do, the more t prep tests you take, the more the um, whatever your option is, tutoring, which I don't really recommend if you are a first time LSAT taker or if you've been out of school for a long time, I don't recommend tutoring. But if you wanna do it, that's you, that's good. If it works for you, perfect. But it didn't work for me specifically. It didn't at all. So I would advise you to study from like four months to at least six months. A lot of people actually study for a year, which I don't know. Because I tried to study when I was in, um, for the ELSA when I was in undergrad. But to be honest, like it didn't work out because I would study, stop, study, stop, study, stop, study, stop, off and on. But it didn't really work out. So try to get, when I say four months, I mean like four months straight. Don't stop. You know, sometimes it's boring. You're like, oh, I just want to know. Don't stop. Keep practicing. Keep trying. And when I say six months, if you plan to actually do six months, do it nonstop. Don't stop. Like, because it's really going to help you. Really, really going to help you out. You don't want to just study for like four months and then you only study weekends. No, when we say study for four months, it means every day take at least three or four hours out of your schedule to tackle these questions and read these questions and solve these questions and understand it's all about understanding and always start with the hardest part like i had a hard part with the logical game at first with the game part and the logic games was really 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 tricky for me in the beginning so i took a lot of time on that because you want to take a lot of time i didn't take a lot of time with the 
comprehension part because at first it was a little bit confusing then uh the reading comprehension and then i mastered it and everything so always 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 try your best to give yourself time to learn these things give yourself time to practice because you don't want to go in that exam room and pay all that money just to keep retaking the exam and then the more you retake it the more you pay for it oops i messed it up but i do the more you retake it the more you pay for it so you don't want to do that you definitely don't want to do that anyways i couldn't record the lash part because i had to go closer to the mirror to put it on again i'm doing something very very simple a relaxed day and um when usually when i go out i have like the dramatic lashes but i'm not trying to do that today but yeah one advice like anyone who's trying to take the elsa and everything just don't give up like no matter how many times you try don't give up because i did it twice like i didn't get what i wanted the first two times but I didn't give up, you know, the first time, I mean, I didn't give up. I have friends who have actually done it four times, like three, four times, and they didn't give up and they graduated. The LSAT doesn't really determine your future. Your LSA score doesn't really say if you will actually make it into law school or not, because law school has nothing to do with the LSAT, nothing at all. Like everything, all the tests and everything, yes, it teaches you, um, how to read stuff, how to study, discipline and stuff, but no, like I didn't use all that in law school. So don't be discouraged. I know it's a lot of money to keep retaking the LSAT. And if you don't get a score that you like, like I did, I didn't really get the score that I wanted. Don't give up and just redo it and retake it. I know it's money, it costs a lot, but it's a sacrifice because you want to get that scholarship. See, I didn't have the opportunity to actually, um, get a scholarship because i didn't go to high school here in the united states i went to a high school in africa so um they couldn't transfer of course they transferred my credit my high school credit but because i don't have the is it the sat and the other scores i didn't have all that and i didn't i had the choice to take it but i had to take i think a year class in like in high school g g d GED, GED, <laughs> how to take the GED or whatever. I didn't want to do that. Look, I already went to high school in uh, back home and I already graduated from high school. Why am I going to come here and restart and take a, no, I wasn't going to do that. So I took the risk and um, I wish I did that. I regret not doing that. So I couldn't get a scholarship. I actually got partial scholarships like the, like from churches, from different organizations and stuff like scholarship that would help me help me with like books that helped me with like summer classes and everything but i wish i took got full scholarships because my friend had like the get scholarship they had like the good marshall and the, like different scholarships that you know they have zero if i say zero they have like zero loans out of law school zero debt but i'm here with a lot of debt but i've been paying those and i'm gonna do a video on how to actually finish pay your loans fast how to actually start paying your loans while you're in school and everything else comment below if you have any suggestions or any topics that you think i should talk about on this platform um again i'm here to empower you guys to educate you guys to teach you guys how to actually go to law school take the lsat or if you're in law school already how to actually take everything easy again i always say this is not a marathon it's a sprint like can't take your time you can't be stressed it's all about what you make out of it like you can't stress yourself i know it's stressful i had days where i cried i would cry for like days straight but nobody would know but at the end of the day it was all worth it because i don't remember how that feeling felt it's just like having a baby or going through pain you just remember the, that pain was there but you don't really remember exactly you don't feel the pain anymore and that was me now it's over i don't feel it and i still have a long way to go so don't give up it don't matter how old you are it don't matter if you're 30 if you're 50 if you're 70 if you that's you want to be a lawyer you want to definitely get that i have my dad i'm i always follow my dad's footsteps like my dad is older but he's he's in school he keeps going to school he has like different degrees he has masters and a lot of masters and all these degrees because he his philosophy his logic is that when i die i want my kids and my grandchildren to see these degrees and be inspired by these degrees and that's my mindset i don't know if i'll go to school for 60 years 60 years but 
I definitely want to keep trying different things and um, to inspire my kids, to inspire my grandkids, to inspire different people out here. And again, I'm here to learn and I want you guys to help me learn as well by commenting below. Let me know what you have in mind by sharing this video. This might help a friend. This might help a neighbor. This might help a family friend, a family member and everything. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe below. I'm about to get dressed and head out. I'm already I'm ready to head out. Thank you again. Face done. Simple look. Ooh, ooh. Period six. Period. Anyway, it's not my me. <laughs> I be looking cute sometimes. I be trying though. I try. I try. I try. Go ahead and subscribe if not subscribe.